guys, this is Josh again with Josh's Lawn Care. It's been a while since I've done a video. I think in the last video I was mowing grass out there. I got to thinking about some things I'd just like to share with you. Over time, um, I've had some thoughts about Xmark. Um, excellent mowers. Uh, they, I think, in my opinion, besides Skag, the Xmarks has the best quality cut by far. Um, you know, they strike well. Uh, just really neat, uh, use a, a neat and uniform top cut. And I think it's all in the deck design, basically. Um, but, you know, I have the Toro uh, Z Master, the 3000 series. And, you know, I kind of got to comparing the two. Uh, when I first started out looking for a mower, my first thought was I wanted an X Marks. Uh, but then um, my dealer, there was, a, there was a dealer that was close to where I live that's a Toro dealer. And when you buy a mower, one thing to consider is, is, you know, there's so many different brands out there, so many different kind of mowers that are good mowers, they're great mowers. And really, when you make a decision on something, make a decision not just based off of that brand or how well the mower is and all the reviews that you read about it, but also make a decision on the dealership. Do you have a good dealership where you're from? Is it far away? These are questions you have to ask yourself. Uh, my Toro dealer is probably 30 minutes from where I live, uh, but they have a fantastic shop. They expand their business, moved into a bigger place. And uh, Taz Equipment is the name of the company. Uh, owner there is Todd. Uh, if you're in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area and you're considering buying a mower, a, a Toro, that is the place to go. Uh, they're very super friendly and helpful uh, with everything that you may need. Uh, for instance, yesterday I, I was out mowing and you know, I only have 46 hours on my, on my mower and the belt broke. And uh, I, I couldn't understand why it broke so soon. Perhaps something got caught up in the pulley or something, but it snapped when I engaged the PTO. Uh, the belt just broke and so I mean it was like at closing time uh, I went up there and they inspected it and put the belt on immediately which I'm so grateful for uh, because you know uh, I have lawns to cut and, and money to be made and uh, they took the time out right before they closed to check it out and put that new belt on there and I think that's excellent customer service from a dealer and if you if you have a dealership close to you uh, I recommend that would be maybe the type of mower that you want to consider uh, just getting close to a dealer that can be there on a spot for you when you need help, you know, because there's nothing worse than being out mowing for somebody and a belt break or you bend the blade or something, something bad happens and you've got your customer sitting there waiting on you uh, to finish mowing their lawn. So, you know, you could at any given notice in a moment, you could just you know mess something up and you need to run to the dealership to get it fixed so make sure you get to a dealer that's close by and uh, check out their mowers and see what they have to offer uh, I, you know like I said I was considering an X marks from the beginning and I really love the mowers I know they're good quality mowers have not have heard nothing but great reviews from them uh, but then like I said I went to my dealership my Toro dealership and you know, Toro and X Marks are basically the same mowers. If you look at the Laser Z E series or S series, uh, and you look at the Toro 3000, 4000, 5000, I think it goes all the way up to 6000 series, uh, the main frame, the tires, uh, everything is identical. Uh, Toro makes X Mark. Uh, it's kind of like the equivalent to Chevrolet and GMC, both the same company but two different types of. Uh, mowers. Uh, the only difference that I had seen, I've done some research, maybe it'll save you some time, I've done some research online uh, between the two, uh, the tire size and the caster wheels and everything is all the same. Uh, the only difference I can see is that the motor is a Kawasaki in the X marks and the uh, Toro has a uh, Kohler, uh, but I'm sure you could make that optional. You could probably put a uh, Kawasaki in the Toro. <coughs> And the other major difference is, is the deck. Uh, I wrote some stats down, some specs down between the two. Um, the, 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 uh, the blade tip speed is the same, same uh, gauge steel on the decks or saving gauge. Uh, drive tires are the same. 
Uh, there's a little bit of a difference in the speed. However, Toro has eight and a half miles per hour and uh, the X Mark has eight miles per hour, which is not a huge difference. There's not a big difference in that. Both have independent hydro gears uh, without the hoses and all that. Uh, they're both 12 cc. Uh, their hydro gear is what the name of the pumps are. Uh, and then there's another difference between the bearings and the uh, spindles. On a Toro, you have a ball bearings which you can grease. Uh, you have greasable spindles. And then on the X marks, it's got sealed bearings. So you can't really, you can't uh, grease those and maintain those. Uh, once they go out, you have to take the spindle apart, which the ball bearings you will too on the, on the Toro eventually. But I think the longevity of the bearings in the Toro where it's greasable and it's, uh, the spindles are greasable with the bearings, I think you might get a little longer life out of those bearings. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, the Toro does awesome on hills. I have a very steep embankment, which I was trying different things. I was trying like a push mower. Yeah, I got to walk behind. Walk behinds are best for hills. Uh, but it was such a big hill and it took so much time for a person that I mow for. Uh, when I got this X, I mean this Toro here, I mean I could just tear that hill up, and it, it's got a low center of gravity, so it stays it stays on the hill really well. Before I got this, I had that Dixie chopper that I was talking about in one prior video, and man, it was scary as everything because it sits up higher, and it felt like I was just you know the whole front end just kept wanting to go down. It wouldn't stay good on the hill. And uh, if, you, if you're in the market to buy a good zero turn mower and you're questioning about heels, the Toro, and I'm sure the X Mark, since they, they're the same uh, frame and body, everything's all the same, I'm sure they would do just as well on a heel as a Toro. Uh, another big thing is between the two is a Toro, uh, I paid about $8,500 for mine. And I know that the Laser Z X Marks is about $1,000 more. I just called another local place here that sells them and it was 9500 It's not a big difference. Uh, but I do believe that the Xmark has a better deck. It has the uh, Ultra Cut deck uh, and where mine has the Turbo Force deck. And if you, I'll put up pictures of the difference between the two. Uh, mine has like baffles in it, individual little baffles inside of the deck where the, where the Xmark's more open. Uh, I think that might be why they have the better cut. I'm not sure. It dispenses the grass uh, a lot better that way. Uh, but I really, I've really enjoyed mine. Uh, I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a difference because I'm sure that you've heard the same. You're probably wondering what the difference was. Uh, but basically everything is all the same except for the engine and the deck and then the sealed bearings and the ball bearings. That's the, two, that's the three major differences that I see. But basically they're just the same mower. The, the, the construction, the deck, the way it operates, uh, everything, the pumps, everything's all the same basically. You're just paying really more for a better brand when you get an X marks. You're, you're getting a more top of the line of end. But uh, if you're on a budget and you want something, you know, uh, to get you by, I would recommend the Toro because it has a five-year, uh, 1200 hour warranty, which the Toro, has, I mean, the, the X Marks has the same thing, basically the same warranty with the two. Um, but I highly recommend either one of them. They're great mowers, and I've heard a lot of good things about Skags. Uh, I even consider getting a Skag, but I don't have a dealer close to where I'm at, so that was kind of out the window. Uh, perhaps if I was closer to one, I would have uh, took, you know, that advantage of that but I'm really liking my Toro and if you're in the market to look for a new zero turn mower uh, I would say go for the Toro if you have a if you have a close dealership buy or an X marks uh, just what it really bases on your 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 closeness to the uh, dealership uh, <clears throat> but that's that's pretty much my thing with the mowers I hope y'all enjoy your year have a successful year in mowing I know that I'm ready to get started. I've already mowed at least three times already, and it's the end of February, and it's this early spring around here. We've got another beautiful day today, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and mowing and everything, but thank y'all for supporting me so much. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to me. I don't know everything, but I like to share what I do know, and if I stand corrected on some of the things that I've said, just comment in the comments below, and I'll... 
I'd like to hear from you. Um, Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. And, and we'll see you around with Josh's Lawn Care.